Yeah. It's your boy Coinstock back at it again, stuffing these duffel bags and collecting that cheddar. Before we begin, please, please, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a friend trying to educate you. All right, so we got some big news, boys. Look at Polygon right there. Polygon Matic, right? Like, it's experienced some bullish news within the last 24 hours. If you're in the know, you're in the know. And maybe we'll do some relational things that you'll see later in the video. But if you don't know, we got to get into the news and how this can relate to more pumpamentals, so to speak. But I'm not a financial advisor or anything. I'm just a friend trying to educate you, right? So polygon was down in the dumps like it was near like the 20 to 17 range but now it's up to 11 it was had like a whole up shoot because of some very bullish news and we're going to look at it right now all right so instagram announces its own nft marketplace on polygon now that's already bullish enough but let's continue instagram in collaboration with polygon has announced the launch of its own nft marketplace the marketplace will permit users to mint and sell their nfts on the platform social media giant instagram announced the launch of its own nft marketplace which will soon permit its users to mint and trade nfts now we've seen this before with reddit and reddit let me show you already. Let me show you real quick. I'm just going to show you the hand real quick. All right. So Reddit, it already has two collections in the top 10 on OpenSea. I believe just on Polygon. I'm not too sure for all of them. I mean, we can look at all of them real quick, all the chains. All right. Because they've previously seen time and time again of going to the top 10. And they've been sparking the, uh, yeah, it's not in the top 10 of all chains. But it's it's been sparking the nft renaissance again right so it's definitely up there but we'll look at some statistics later that will show you that it's kind of different this is it's this is different right all right so social media giant instagram announced the launch of its own nft marketplace which will soon permit its users to mint and trade nfts read that i believe so instagram declared that it will soon allow its users to mint digital tokens on its platform the platform will also be launching its own marketplace giving users more power by permitting creators to sell their own nfts now it's already one thing that these influencers <coughs> that these influencers are coming out with their own nfts right but let's say that down the road they can also release their own like fan token or what have you on these platforms so it'll bring in more capital inflows especially to polygon if they stick to polygon but we'll read more on right so Creators will soon be able to make their own digital collectibles on Instagram and sell them to fans, both on and off Instagram. They'll have an end-to-end -end toolkit from creation starting on the Polygon blockchain and showcasing to selling. People can easily support their favorite care, uh, creators by buying their digital collectibles directly within Instagram, the announcer reiterated. We're also expanding the types of digital collectibles that you can showcase on Instagram to include video and adding support for the Solana blockchain and Phantom Wallet in addition to the blockchains and wallets that we already support. Information for select collections where the metadata has been enriched by OpenSea, such as collection name and descriptions will now be available on Instagram. So that's kind of great news, right? They're uh, in trying to include video, which they've already got Instagram Reels, and maybe they can integrate blockchain with that but I'm not too sure. I'm not too certain who knows about that. But there's tons of things to play around, play around with, right? And plus, it's also with Meta. It's not just Instagram. Meta also partnered up too. And you know they're trying to do their whole metaverse thing or whatever. But if Polygon's name is in there, you know, you know, we'll just have to see how it works out. But pretty bullish news. So the company has recently published its Q2 earnings report, which disclosed a staggering loss of $3.7 billion. However, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg seems positive that his company will soon bounce back considering its recent investments in the sectors of Instagram Reels and AI. So, I mean... See, Polygon's already making these connections with all these businesses, Meta, Disney, and the like, but... There's also something else later in the news that we'll see too. But let's go ahead to the next bit of news. That was basically it from what I could tell. Yep. So that's basically it there. That's that's the jaw dropper right here. That's that thing that makes you spit out your coffee. So there it is. Full frontal. Boom shakalaka. Now next. All right. There it is. So fundamentally, 
<clears throat> sorry, fundamentally, Maddox demand could keep growing given Polygon's growing NFT projects launched by mainstream companies. For instance, Polygon's list of prominent NFT partners includes names such as Disney, Robinhood, and Starbucks. Furthermore, Polygon had a strong Q3, wherein its number of active wallets reached a record high of six million, primarily driven by the launch of Reddit's NFT marketplace on its blockchain. So it was really persevering right there with the uh, Reddit NFT release. Now you're probably wondering, it's like, eh, so what? Reddit's a big company and like, you know, Disney's a big company. Well, not Disney, but like uh, Reddit's a big social media company and like, you know, Instagram's probably got the same thing, right? Well, okay. So I put like how many users uh, does Reddit have, right? And uh, it says, you know, in like millions, like 52 million daily active users for Reddit. But if we fast forward, actually let's do, let, let me pull out the calculator real quick. So 52 million daily active users times 30 is 1.5 billion roughly. But there are currently over 2 billion monthly active uh, Instagram users, right? So Instagram achieved this mark in the third quarter of 2021 and it is estimated to reach 2.5 billion million uh, monthly active users by 2023 so already like 2.5 billion on instagram where people can create their own nfts and about 1.5 billion per month out of both of these uh social media companies so 2.5 billion from instagram monthly and 1.5 billion from reddit monthly so it's just coming out on all sides on the reddit nft marketplace space for polygon <clears throat> all right so just take that in effect right and let's go ahead and look back at OpenSea real quick now real quick right that these reddit nfts like seven six ten right twelve on on polygon they're up on the up and up right they're definitely up there in the top 20 top 10 on polygon by the way on polygon but they're on the up and up now just think of boom another one instagram which primarily is about photos right so i mean i could totally see these being used for profiles or people just adding on their own nfts and like making posts about it oh yeah 100 percent. and also if they're integrating videos too like reels oh my gosh just the potential right <laughs> all right so let's go to uh, jp morgan so this is some other big news too jp morgan executes first DeFi transaction on polygon jp morgan carried out the transaction on ethereum layer 2 network polygon because of its cheap transaction fees and leveraged Aave protocols permission pool concept concept right so JP Morgan already big already huge can't be mad at it right <laughs> like it's it's actually very big news if we keep on reading through which we will so JP Morgan has executed the first live trade on public blockchain as part of the monetary monetary authority of Singapore MAS project guardian the banking giant completed the transaction using DeFi tokenized deposits and verifiable credentials. So Project Guardian is an initiative of mass with financial institutions such as JP Morgan, Market Node, and DBS Bank Limited. Its focus is on use cases for asset tokenization and DeFi. The pilot program saw DBS Bank, JP Morgan, and SBI Digital Asset Holdings conduct foreign exchange and government bond transactions against li liquidity pools containing tokenized Singapore, Japanese government bonds, Japanese yen, and Singapore dollars. The participants completed a cross-currency transaction involving tokenized Japanese yen and Singapore dollar deposits. They also conducted a simulated trade of tokenized government bonds. So they're already adding in like government bonds and like the Japanese yen and Singapore dollar. These are all combined and on, on the Polygon ecosystem, right? Like, I mean, it's for Ethereum, but hey, la layer two, you know, you can't be mad at that, at Polygon being number one, right? Right? It's just like, there's so much news, like it still hasn't hit anybody yet, you know? 
He continued that JP Morgan issued a tokenized Singapore dollar deposit for the Japanese yen. TSD is a native deposit token with stable on-chain value without the scalability issues plaguing stablecoin. The bank used W3C verifiable credentials to have compliant access to Aave and built on-chain verification of VCs. Loban, I'm just going to call him that, said the on-chain verification brings composa composability to identity, which could be used across various DeFi protocols. He added that blah, 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 cannot enable money laundering and must undertake KYC using VCs and allow lists was crucial for enabling us to use DeFi pools with certainty on these uh, points. And this seems to be basically it, but holy moly donut shop. So Instagram's jumping in, JP Morgan's jumping in and like all these new NFT projects are trying to jump in because the NFT marketplace is booming and being, you know, it's just capital inflow after capital inflow, right? Like more money's coming into Polygon because of all these huge projects and just people that never had a wallet before are participating on these websites, these social media websites and opening one and creating, you know, a bunch of money coming in and out, you know, and like, it's just, it's crazy. It's fast moving, you know, um, Polygon is uh building it behind the scenes during this bear market. But yet again, what I know anyway, I'm just keeping you up to date on the down low. So, uh, I guess I'll, uh, see you guys later.